would I remind you that please turn off all of your cell phone so that you will not interrupt the session, please. Um, the president of Chiang Mai University, the dean of medical faculty, honorable guests, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the special seminar by a keynote speaker, uh, Professor Farid Murad, a Nobel laureate in medicine. My name is Dr. Nippon Shatipagon, and I will be your moderator for today's special event. Um, I need to emphasize uh, that it is a very special since it is the opportunity uh, to see and to listen uh, to a live presentation by a Nobel laureate. This chance does not come very often. So I would like to take this time to thank Chiang Mai University for allowing this to happen. I also would like to thank Bridges, the International Peace Foundation, and the Thai International Airways for their support that helped make today's event possible. At this time, I would like to ask Chiang Mai University President, Dr. Nippon Duanun, to give an opening and welcoming speech. Dr. Nippon. Professor Murad, Mr. Yanis Hikwai, Director of Events Cooperation of International Peace Foundation, Dean of the Faculty of Medicine, distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen. One of the rare privileges bestowed upon me as President of Chiang Mai University is the opportunity to preside over occasions such as this. Professor Murad, is in, it is indeed an honor for me to welcome you to our university on this most auspicious occasion. Professor Fordit Murad is with us today under the auspices of the Nobel Prize laureate in Health Science Lecture Series, a program which will provide our staff and students with a unique opportunity of coming face to face with some of the world's most distinguished scientists. A once in a lifetime opportunity that I am sure will be a great source of inspiration. I would like to take this opportunity to express our gratitude to the International Peace Foundation with our whose support today's lecture would not be possible. Also to thank the Dean and his colleagues at the Faculty of Medicine for the time and energy they have contributed to organizing and hosting this event. Professor Murad, please accept our most sincere thanks and appreciation for honoring our university with your presence. And I trust that the memories you take with you of our university and our city will hasten your return in the not too distant future. Thank you. The International Peace Foundation is an organization that supports today's special event to happen. At this time, I would like to ask the Director of Events Coordinator of the International Peace Foundation, Mr. Janice Hegwine, to introduce us to this organization and its work. Mr. Hegwine. Thank you. I'm going to say a few words on behalf of Uwe Moravitz, Chairman of the International Peace Foundation, who unfortunately cannot be here today, but who expresses his best wishes to all of you. Ladies and gentlemen, dear friends, I have no concept for peace and no solution how to achieve peace, but I know that the first step towards peace is dialogue, and the first step towards dialogue is respect. The International Peace Foundation doesn't take sides, but acts as a mediator by creating an independent platform for dialogue where people meet who normally don't meet, people from all walks of life, people who speak different languages, even if they use the same. 
As politicians speak another language than artists and business and religious people and others and scientists, it is seldom that they speak with each other or even work together. We live in a world where some people pretend to know the answer and solution, how to solve problems, how to achieve peace, thought the quest for peace lies in the art to pose the right questions. Peace is a process, dialogue is a process. It is nothing which is achieved instantly, it needs time. This is why Bridges is not organized as a single conference and then everything is over again and forgotten, but as a series of events over the period of one year in which 24 Nobel laureates for peace, physics, chemistry, medicine, literature and economics build bridges with Thai leaders in all parts of society and with the general public. After the first 20 events of bridges, which attracted 8,000 participants in November alone, we have been approached, especially by students and young people, who want to actively participate in this dialogue process towards peace, which is not something which can be left to the elite of a few, but which needs the participation of everyone. I thank the Chairman of the Thai Advisory Board for the event series Bridges, His Excellency Anand Panerachun, President Professor Nippon Tuvanon, the Vice President Professor Tanan Anuman Ratchaton, and the Chiang Mai University, and all partners and sponsors for our fruitful cooperation, and especially Professor Farid Murad, who came to Thailand without any honorarium to support the events, and I now look forward to his keynote speech and his important contribution to build bridges. Thank you very much. Before we begin the talk session, I would like to introduce you a bit of the story of Professor Murad. I have to say a bit because his CV is fairly thick and could take hours to mention them all. Professor Murad enrolled in the MD-PhD program at the Western Reserve University School of Medicine in Cleveland, Ohio, the United States in 1958 and received his MD degrees as well as his PhD in pharmacology at the same university in 1965. Dr. Murad has been on so many academic appointments such as professor in the Department of Internal Medicine and the director of Clinical Research Center at the U University of Virginia School of Medicine and the professor of medicine at Stanford University. Dr. Murad is currently a professor at the University of Texas Medical School at Houston in Texas. Dr. Murad had and always been very active in basic and clinical research and has published more than 275 scientific papers to date. Professor Farid Murad received his Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine in 1998 for his discovery concerning nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system. Before we hear the story of the great discovery in details from Professor Murad, I would like to take this opportunity to give the audience in this room a brief general background on our keynote speaker's work. Dr. Murad studied how nitroglycerin and reacting vasodilating compounds act and discovered in 1977 that they release nitric oxide which relaxes smooth muscle cells. This discovery is a sensation that the simple common air pollutant, which is formed when nitrogen burns, could exert important functions in the organism. The discovery of nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system has a strong impact in medicine. For example, it has been known for over a century that nitroglycerin had been effects against angina or chest pain. However, it would take a hundred years until Dr. Murad's discovery that nitroglycerin acts by releasing nitric oxide gas and that in atherosclerosis the endothelium has a reduced capacity to produce nitric oxide. As it was said in the Nobel Prize presentation speech in 1998, your discovery concerning nitric oxide as a signaling molecule in the cardiovascular system has not only explained the working principle of an all-important group of drugs, 